it's pretty bad. We are facing potentially some pretty major delays. Whoa, we got a lot yeah. to do back there. Yeah. If you're new around here, we're a full-time travel family of five and for the past year we've been living and travelling in our self-build camper van all over Europe and the UK, visiting some incredible places and spending quality time together as a family. We love this lifestyle so much that earlier this year we made the decision to go all in and upgrade our living space to this 7.5 tonne lorry that we have named Tory. It started off as a complete empty shell and we've been working our absolute socks off all summer to create our dream home on wheels so that we can get back out to Europe and start making some more precious memories. But before we get started we are super excited because this week we have partnered with HelloFresh. So guys, yeah, that's right. As I was saying, we are facing potentially some pretty major delays. We're still waiting for our rear panels and they're the panels we're putting on the back. So if you've been watching for a while, um, you'll know that we're taking off the rear doors. We're gonna panel it up and we still haven't got the panels. No, it's pretty bad. The last we heard from them was on Friday and we had one of those updates without it actually being an update. So it's one of Kira's pet hates, oh, an update without it. being an update. It's, just, it's more it's, of an acknowledgement. It's just to keep you like moderately happy that you've got a reply from someone, <laughs> I think. Anyway, so they told us that the panels, they're waiting for the panels to be picked up by the courier, but didn't give us a date. So we are none the wiser to when they're actually arriving. We're hoping this week. That's what we're hoping. Yeah. I'm going to chase it up today. Um, but yeah, like we can't, the, the back of the van still looks like when we bought it you know the rear doors are there we haven't insulated we haven't paneled out um because we're waiting for these back panels yeah so they're absolutely essential for us to now move forward so on the plus side we've managed to get a few sort of the finishing touchy sort of jobs done yeah um at the front which now looks amazing you know it looks really cool yeah it's like two thirds of the lorry is looking really great it doesn't need much more mm -hmm. And then obviously the back is like, whoa, we've got a lot yeah. to do back there. Yeah. And with even, we didn't even, we haven't even told. Look, we're sitting on our lovely, oh, of course. nice, nice new, well, you've already seen the phone, but yeah. we've covered them um, and we've got some nice cushions, some very expensive cushions. That's this one. Yeah. This cushion here <laughs> needs to be framed. No one's allowed to use that cushion. It's a nice cushion, but it was 25 pounds. 25 quid. It's a lot of money for a cushion, I think. A lot of money. A lot of money for a cushion. Yeah. You know, that could feed us for a week. I could not. No, could not. No, no. Okay, so we're gonna we'll Kira will uh, show you more about the cushions later on. But uh, yeah, back to it. So we we've got the delay on the back panel. We've also got a little bit of delay for our table leg, which should be right in front of us here. Mm -hmm. So that had to be uh, put on a special order. I think they're getting it from Germany or wherever. Um, it's a fancy table leg because... When he says it's fancy, it cost over £300 for a table leg. Yeah, well, I could have got a £500 one. That would have been an electric one. Because we're making this into a bed, you, we want a table leg that you can just push down. So it's on a hydraulic lever and it just pushes down to the height and then we infill with the cushions. Um, so we're waiting on that. That is potentially going to be mid-October which is really scary. It's not good. No, that's definitely not good. But the reason that this could probably, or potentially cause us some major problems is because... Da, 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 da. We have sold the van and we are moving in, like we have no choice, mm -hmm. we are moving into the lorry in just under two weeks' time. And I say I just yeah. under two weeks, it's more like a week and a half. Yeah, which well, a is... week and a half from now, from when you guys are watching this, it's yeah. a week. Yeah. And yeah. I don't think I've even processed that properly yeah. yet. Yeah. No. So that's right. The, the van is sold. Uh, we, that's been sold. A lovely, nice family are having that. Um, and yeah, we because that's been sold, we're moving in. So uh, yeah, there's still, still a bit to do. <laughs> and one of them absolutely major, major, major things we need to do is that rear area, the kids' sleeping area. Without that, the kids have nowhere to sleep. Me and Kira can make do with this, we yeah. can make do without the table, but the kids have to have their bed. But yeah, so today uh, we're gonna crack on with some more odd jobs and uh, yeah, hopefully can give you an update on those panels later on. I hope so. Okay, so first job is overhead cupboard. So I've made the other side, they're all here. Um, so, but one thing I do need to do is, uh, I didn't get the measurements wrong, but I do need to cut them down a little bit. You know what I mean? 
um, no, I got them slightly wrong. Basically where the hinges are, you have to have the cupboards, they can't go right to the top. So I did leave about, uh, about what, five mil of a gap. We need about 15. So I'm gonna cut it down by another one centimetre. So we can just use this guide on here, set it at a centimetre, make sure that's that. And then we can run this across and we'll just whack them out. Let's get Mr. Big Boy out. Perfect summer is over in a flash and you're on your way. But some part of me is hoping for tonight. It's not too late. My mind says yes. You right, so I'm going to give them a sand down. So basically what we were thinking before is that they would just be this one color. But then what I did is I, I started to sand down a little bit and we got that sort of like rustic sort of look which we actually quite like so that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to take a sander and just really give it a sand down Right, so we've got a table leg update. All right, what is it? Right, I was worried when I first saw this because I thought it was the actual back door, the panel, but it's not, it's the table leg. So unfortunately only six arrived on the week commencing 21st of September and unfortunately there was no stop left over after the oldest orders to allocate your one earlier. Sadly, I imagine my wholesaler will not be receiving your table leg until the week commencing 16th of October. Which means that they'll receive it on the 16th of October, then we'll probably receive it a week later, surely. Yeah. Yeah. He did say apologies for the delay in completing your order. Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> oh, nice apology. Okay, so 16th, what's yeah. the week after the 16th? The week after the 16th. Oh, that's annoying, man. Is the 23rd, so it will arrive maybe the week of the 23rd. 23rd of October. Which does mean that we are going to be sleeping just on this sofa as it is for yeah. a fair few weeks. So, But it does mean we can get it done before we hit the road. Fingers crossed. Okay. That there's no further delays. Right, so the kids have had their lunch already. They've had a bit of a picky lunch made by themselves. And now me and Rick are going to have one of our Hello Fresh recipes just for us two. But have got myself a little helper to help me cook this one. You ready to get cooking, Jack? Yes. So there's two things that you should know about our Jack. Number one, he loves his food and he thinks about it 24 seven. Don't you, boy? <laughs> and the second thing you should know about Jack is that when he grows up, he wants to own his own bakery. Jack, spink. First, we'll have a potato. Now, sweet potato. Another sweet potato. Another potato. And a lemon. Some chives. Chives. Now, two spi spice mix. And sea pass. That's what we need. Peel and grate the garlic. I need to chop the chives. That's then half the lemon. So we've left our sea bass to marinate for a little while, as per the instructions, the recipe, and it is already smelling really delicious. One thing I love about HelloFresh is just how easy it is. They send you all the ingredients, already pre-measured out with the right portion sizes, and then you can just follow that recipe card and it's really easy to do. Good. 
gorgeous. Take Daddy his food. <laughs> hey, what you made me, buddy? Look at that. I'm really good. So, guys, if you are interested in trying HelloFresh for yourself, we have a special discount code which will give you 60% off your first box and 25% off your next boxes for the next two months. So all you need to do is use the code TOURIN60 and head to the link in our description. And definitely get the sea bass. Mmm, tasty. Well, good morning guys. So we finally managed to get out on a nice morning, um, getting the dog for a walk with uh, the big two, Jack and Piper, which is nice. Um, yeah, so we're just getting out and about. I'll give you a little bit of an update on our rear panels because we had an email yesterday, which was fantastic. And uh, hopefully the panels will be with us Thursday or Friday this week. So talking tomorrow or the next day. So hopefully, that pulls through and we get them because we really need to crack on. But yeah, it's a beautiful morning. Um, nice little bit of uh, fog in the air, nice little bit of low cloud cover. Um, and yeah, really nice to get out. There's a really nice sort of two mile loop walk here, which uh, we often do. And uh, yeah, it's just nice to get out and about. So I said to the kids, is there anything you want to talk about whilst on the walk? And Jack said, well, there is something I want to say. One of my big toes is bigger than the other. <laughs> that boy comes up with some good stuff. Right guys, so I promised I was going to show you our sofa area. So we'll go and take a look. So these covers, I'm going to be honest, when I put these covers on, I had a bit of a meltdown because they are not what we had originally planned, what we originally wanted, and they're not perfect. Like they look okay, they look good, but I give myself a bit of a hard time when these went on because it wasn't the plan. So the plan was to get them professionally upholstered, but basically we just ran out of time to be able to do that. Obviously you guys know we've got a huge deadline we're working to and it takes about three to four weeks, I think, to get these upholstered. So we had to come up with a solution. So I found these covers online and um, I think it cost about £50 for all eight covers and they basically wrap around the foam, they're elasticated at the edges. So they're really easy and a great little solution or hack if you've got, I suppose if you've got a camper van or motorhome and you want to protect your other covers, your upholstery, these are really good or your sofa at home even. But as I say, they are a little bit baggy, they're not perfect, but they'll do for now. And the plan for later in, well, probably next year is to get them professionally upholstered. But obviously that does also come with a massive cost. We have got quotes of like, basically about two grand to upholster this, which compared to 50 pound is a lot of money. But yeah, overall, happy with them for now. So let us know what you guys think. I think it does the job, doesn't it? Also, one more thing to show you guys. We've got Charlie's bed in place now. So we bought this. It was a bit of a hard find actually trying to get one that fit exactly that space, but that's really good. So we bought this. He's been in here loads and he is loving it. To be honest, it's given him like a total new lease of life. I think in the van, he's not had much space to like move around, but we've been spending a lot of time in here in the evenings. And when we're chilling out on the sofa, he's there with his blanket in his mouth, like whacking his tail, wanting to play. So it's really nice to see. Um, yeah, I think he's gonna love it in here. But before I go, there is one thing we need to do to his bed because he will be traveling in this when we drive. And as some of you probably already know, if you've watched the earlier vlogs, he has travel anxiety. And we think we need to keep him in the bed. He needs to be able to stay in the bed and we need to make sure he can't go wandering off because I think he'll stress a bit if he does that. So what solution could we have, if you have any ideas, to block this front off for him so he can't actually get out whilst we're driving? Because it's like that cage sort of thing, like 
when they're caged and it helps their anxiety doesn't it so we want some sort of barrier so we can't push out and yeah we need to think of something and think fast <laughs>